I think music comes from the, uh, the soul. When you are in uh, uh, Asian countries and somebody gets ready to play a, a flute, you can feel them go into a spiritual coma, maybe. Uh, say, don't, don't bother him. Leave, let him stay in that dressing room because he's getting in touch with himself. And I think that with uh, John Coltrane and even when he was with Miles and Cannonball, they had talked about the Indian ragas and uh, a culture that had improvisation for many, many uh, centuries before <clears throat> the 20th century. And so uh, when you listen to a, a raga, I started listening to them all day long, every day, because of Coltrane and uh, we got a juicer, uh, me and uh, Archie had juicers and Ferro Sanders, because uh, we were wanting to get in touch with what our elders had been doing. And uh, it worked, it worked. I became a lot more aware of uh, the seriousness of practicing. Uh, 20, 20 uh, pages a day out of the thesaurus of skills with Pharaoh Sanders. Uh, he was coming back from Japan with John and uh, said that's what they were doing. So I wanted to do exactly what they were doing. And um, it, it helped so much. Uh, it changed the, uh, I'd say, the, the sound of my playing. And I was right in the same room with Jimmy Garrison when he said to me, you now sound the way that we sound. Uh, you don't sound generic. You sound a lot more spiritual. <laughs>